how to sell tickets on GoDaddy website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can sell some tickets for any type of event on your GoDaddy website. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. So the first thing that you need to do is to head over GoDaddy.com. Then you are going simply to create an account within this platform. That means you need to sign up. Once you have signed up, you are going to receive here your account. As you can see, this is my account. And you are going to get here the uh, dashboard or the header right there. So we are going to click on websites and hosting from the header. And then we are going to select website builder. So we are going to make sure right there that we are going to connect our account only to the website builder because we don't need at this time or at this present time something else from GoDaddy. So we are going to click on your account and then from the account we are going to select here my products. And from these products you're going to see the websites that you have created already. So if you don't or you didn't create a website you are going simply to click on set up a free website, start creating your website and etc. So basically I am going to create a new site because here we have an electronic website and a restaurant website. So I don't want to uh, make uh, something that is going to be uh, here not clear. So what are some features or what, or what are the features that your website needs? So if it is going to be a store, you are going to select sell with an online store booking appointments for for example here restaurants uh, hotels and etc if you're going to set something else like blogs and um, use website you're going to set it for something else but in my case i will go ahead and sell with an online store so click on on continue here and then we are going to see the type of the website or the category that will our website will run on so Let's go ahead and set up here uh, online. For example, we are going to see here online services, gaming, e-commerce. So we are going to set maybe for football. Football. And then we are going to click on continue. So we are going to put here the name like Dax tickets. Tickets continue now if you want the help of the godaddy arrow which is going to be the ai of godaddy you're going to have here a little description about your uh, website and it will generate some content that is going to be for your website here so i'm going simply to skip this step and here we are going to wait for the website to be created so you are going basically to see the comparison between the plans you can get here the uh, chance to work with the free plan which is here you're going to click on continue for free or you can get your premium basic standard and e-commerce plan for here it is uh, here cheaper than the most competition as i can see here so you can go ahead and use it right there or continue for free to test out everything so now we have the uh, preset sections that you're going to see or add into your website without adding them manually. So you are going to check the boxes and they will be added automatically or removed. So we have the about section, the featured product section. So we have the photo gallery, the contact us, the social link, subscribe. Here online store yes this is a must here to uh, set up the tickets privacy policy ref return and refund policy and etc so you can add uh, the live stream possibility right there to click and continue to my site here now we have our website ready uh, here we are going to exit the tour so I am going right there to see the websites. Here we have it. Now, all we need to do here is to set up the images. As you can see, if you want to uh, manifest and modify the images, you are going to click on any image or cover media right there. 
and you are going to change it for example for the text it is well presented also here we have the uh, button right there which is going to be uh, set up or also uh, here link to any other page you can go ahead and link it now here as you can see about jack tickets you can go ahead and modify these uh, sections uh, delete them or do whatever and here we are going to set up the most uh, important part here you are going to add product and we are going to create your store i'm going to add uh, the product manually so it is not going to be a digital or not a, uh, going to be a physical product but it is going to be a digital one so we are going to set the name of it as let's say here nfl for example or i'm going to set up football match game ticket let's say here like that so i'm going to set up here semi finals like that so here you are going to set up here the description about that ticket for example here i'm going to set up here at saturday let's say here we're not going to set up the date because i don't know what is that day is going to be for example 29th let's say that it is that at here exactly at let's here put 5:30 like that 30 pm so like that uh we are going to set up here ticket for one person in the front uh, let's say here uh, front places uh here let's say so you can go ahead and add the advantage of this ticket if it is a vip ticket or standard ticket standard ticket and etc so for the price you're going to set up your price the product category it is going to be here named for example ticket description ticket and the category link also isn't going to be ticket visible on the store yes it is going to be visible on the store uh here the downloadable content you're going to add your uh, digital ticket right there so how we can do that either it is going to be here a ticket that you have a bot or you are going simply to create your own ticket if it is a local event or something like that so let's go ahead and create our ticket here we are going to use the well-known platform for design which is canva go ahead to canva.com sign in within an account also go ahead and click on the search bar at the top tickets for example i'm going to type in ticket and normally we are going to get here a ticket form so this is the ticket as you can see you can see here we have a lot of tickets so we are going simply to choose one of them here we have the correct format of the ticket so for example raffle i'm going to select this one uh, contain paid elements so we don't need a paid element we need only a free element so we are going to select this one and then we are going to design it right there i'm going to delete that so for example foot ball uh, here semi final i'm going to make it like that even so then we are going to change the date 29th for example november 2024 here we have it so the date open from let's say here four to the match is going to be here at 5 30 
to 6 p.m. like that or from 3 p.m. to 6 like that so I'm not going to add this but here we have for example the gate here is going to be here the row and the seat for example seat number 10 the row for example 5 the gate 1 for example 0 0 5 like that the get a ticket number is going to be like that and etc so this is our ticket we're going simply to download it as a png or rather we are going to set it as a pdf standard because it is going to be here printable and also you can go ahead and add your uh, for example uh, here the cover image so we're going to set it here as like that I'm going to let it here standard like that and also this one is going to be zero so I'm going to set up this one as a uh, here sample I'm going to set it as PNG download the second version of it as a PNG go back to the uh, here the media so I'm going to add the video or not the video excuse me I meant the photo so we are going to add the media here drag and drop the media yes I am going to drag and drop it boom and this is the image we're going to wait for the processing of the image you insert it and the digital file is going to be here so we are going to set up download boom we're going to wait for it to be here a display name ticket for semi-finals final like that update boom here we have it now we are going to click on save and the product is going to be added so we are going to wait for the upload of the files and this is it so that was all for or concerning the ticketing right there as you can see so Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.